everybody, thanks for stopping in. I picked up a couple of nice rib steaks on sale at the store this morning, so I think I'm going to cook them on my stovetop cast iron grill. So let's get cooking. These are the two steaks I picked up this morning. Now these are rib steaks. I wasn't sure what the difference between a rib steak and a rib eye steak. So I looked it up when I got home. The difference is the bone. These have the bone in them, so they're called a rib steak. If they cut the bone off, they call it a rib eye steak. So there's your meat lesson for today. <laughs> I'm just gonna rub both sides of these with some olive oil. And I've already done the other side. And then just put a little kosher salt on, on them. I'm not gonna use any pepper because my wife doesn't like pepper. And she also likes her meat ultra rare, so I usually just uh, cook the two steaks and let her pick the, <laughs> the rarest one. Okay, I'm gonna heat up the cast iron grill now, and as soon as that's hot, we'll get those steaks on there. Looks like my grill is pretty hot. I see it starting to smoke. In fact, I opened up the doors so I don't smoke the house out here. Now let's get our steaks on there. Hopefully they'll both fit. It's kind of a tight squeeze here, I think. There we go. Just right. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, these have been going for about three minutes. So I'm gonna try to give them like a quarter turn here to get those kind of cross grill marks. Kind of a tight squeeze, but looks like it worked. It's been a couple minutes like that, and I'm gonna flip them over if I can here. There we go. All right, spent a couple minutes on that side. Let me check the internal temperature with my quick read. Where is 120? Boy, these are getting getting up there. I'm gonna get them off of there now. I just pulled those off of there, and I'd say probably the total cooking time was about seven or eight minutes. I didn't want to overcook them, and hopefully I didn't. So I'll let them rest for five or 10 minutes, and then we'll cut into one and see how it is. These are rested for five or six minutes and look nice and juicy. Let's just cut one, cut into one here, see how it looks inside. That looks pretty good to me. Let's grab a bite of that. Looks nice and tender. Wow, that turned out really good. You know, I didn't really know if you'd get a grilled flavor from cast iron, but you did, do get kind of a smoky flavor has a really nice flavor to it. I mean, I'm surprised. I thought maybe the, you know, the cast iron with the grill marks was just for looks, but it's not. It has a great flavor. So um, that was a success. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.